welcome to our first video in the So You Like series. We're kicking things off with a classic. So you're a fan of the game Scrabble, eh? Love testing your vocabulary by putting your spelling prowess up against your friends? Well, while Scrabble can be great fun, it's just the tip of the iceberg as far as what word games can offer board game fans. So unless you really just enjoy competitive spelling, these five games can show you a whole new and very entertaining side of word games and that you Scrabble fans should really like as well. The most similar game to Scrabble on this list, Bananagrams is a well-known game in its own right that is often equated to Scrabble without a board. In Bananagrams, you will be creating your own weave of intersecting words using letter tiles similar to Scrabble. However, you're trying to use those tiles up to spell out words as fast as you can. In the spelling race, putting down the first word that pops into your head is often more advantageous than spending minutes deciding what the longest word you can put down is. Add to that the fact that everyone plays simultaneously, and you end up with a game near and dear to many Scrabble fans' hearts. Word on the Street's another word game with a speed element, but the spelling aspect of this one is implemented in a really unique way. In Word on the Street, players will be given a topic, such as a type of fruit, and that player or team has 30 seconds to come up with a word that fits. The game board in Word on the Street is a series of columns with 17 consonants in the middle row. Each time you successfully give a word, all of your letters on the board in that word move one column closer to you. Once they move far enough, you gain that letter. Be the first to claim eight letters to win. Letter Tycoon is exactly what you would expect from the name, combining spelling and capitalism in a unique gaming experience. In Letter Tycoon, players will have a seven card hand along with three card community pool that they need to use to create words to score them money and stock rewards. Each time you spell a word though, you also purchase a letter patent for one of the letters in your word. This patent stays with you the rest of the game and gives you money every time someone uses that letter in one of their words. Once all the letters have been bought, each player's total value is calculated and the tycoon with the highest net worth wins. Byword from legendary game designer Sid Saxon is another game that combines wordsmithing and ep economics to create a unique title. In Byword, you first use your money to buy letters you want that you will then use to turn into words that you hope to sell for profit. How much a word is worth is determined by the quantity as well as quality of the letters in your word, with harder to use letters being worth more money. The fact that you have to buy the letters first really pushes you to be forward thinking, and maximizing the letters you get will undoubtedly push your vocabulary as well. Paperback is the only game on this list to use the very popular deck building mechanic and combines it with spelling to create a great natural flow. Like all deck builders, you start with a small deck and use those cards to gain more cards that will improve your deck. In paperback, the cards have a letter or two on them that you must use to spell a word. Unlike most deck builders, though, you can't use all the cards in your hand, just the ones that you can spell a word with. All of this buying and selling is a race for victory points. Once enough of the victory point cards have been bought, the game ends. But be careful, because the victory point cards are worth no points in your hand in words. Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below, or you're welcome to come down to the cafe and argue with us in person and try any of these great games. If you really liked our videos, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, game on.